Okay, we got cars coming round. Come on, car, you've got this. You've got this. Yes, this is so well done. Yes, I cannot believe it. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. Today we're going to be driving down the A4361, I think it is, uh, from Avery to Swindon. And then we're going to be heading on, oh, I can actually autopilot down here. Uh, and then we're going to be heading onwards and supercharging at Mim Mimsbury, I think it is, services. Um, so yeah, that's going to be our drive today. Should be pretty fun. I'm thinking about doing di uh, daily drives at the moment, guys, in my Model 3. What do you think? Do you want to see daily drives on this channel? Going to have to take it off there. If you do, hit the like button down below. If we get over a thousand likes on this video, I'll definitely be doing daily uploads and daily drives, or at least daily Tesla videos. They might not all be about autopilot, uh, but they will all be about Teslas. Now, the reason I've chosen this route today is it actually has some of the biggest and best slash worst corners that we have around here. Now, it gets very, very tight. There's some pretty much 90 degree bends, followed by nearly some hairpins, which is gonna be quite interesting to see how the system works. You can see it's already said that it's a 60, but the 60 sign is in fact over there. It moved there about six months ago, so it obviously still isn't picking up signs, it isn't picking up speed signs, etc., etc. But I've got to say, actually, this road looks really nice, and the left yellow lanes or the lines are brand new. I doubt they're going to last very long. No, they already run out there, but they are new. So we're going to do this at maximum speed. So I'm going to keep it at the speed limit, which is 60 miles per hour. I do apparently have something wrong with the car. Let's see what that is. Oh, my rear left. Actually, my rear sides, the PSI on the rear sides are down. So I'm not sure why that is, but it, they're not down much. So it must just be maybe the right side were in the sun and got a lot hotter. So we've got a lorry coming. I'm expecting a hard brake here. Yep, in for, there it was, but then it carried on nicely. So that hard brake, although I could judge that it was gonna happen, obviously it didn't feel nice, didn't feel natural, and it didn't need to do it, but better to be safe. It really should slow down for this corner here. It's not slowing down for it, but it's still taking it very well. And again, I would hope it maybe slows down to 55 for these corners. There we go, now it's braking down to 55. That was pretty good. And here we go. These are the corners that I was talking about. These are insane corners. The car needs to slow down. Don't forget, I'm not touching anything right now. And it is slowing itself down so nicely. Well done, Oreo. That is, oh, my car's called Oreo. If, if you're new, if you're new here, my car's called Oreo. Look at how well that did. I'm just going to touch it again. 45 miles an hour it's brought us down to. Okay, still slowing us down. There's no one behind me, so we're all good here. Down to 39 or 35. Okay, this is obviously a bit slow. Normally, I would go through here at 50 miles an hour, just so you know. This is quite capable at doing the 50 to 60 miles an hour down this road, but that was really good. Okay, coming up is the ultimate, ultimate test. If it can do this corner, I have very, very much faith that this will take us all the way to Swindon without me having to touch anything. Okay, so it's never done this one nicely. It has done it before. Look at that, braking super early. Wow, really going slow, down to 35, down to 30. This is the difference though, guys. This is the change that we needed. There's a car on the other side of the road. Okay, 20 miles an hour is a little bit overkill. <laughs> okay, it's, it's doing it though. Look, I'm completely, hands off completely, just letting it do, letting it do its thing. I've changed the, um, the viewing angle a little bit, so hopefully you can see this clearer. I've now got a map screen on this as well, so hopefully you can see this clearer, uh, and it just gives you a better view of what's going up ahead. So that did incredibly well, very, very impressed. It's not picking up these arrows on the road that are facing to us. Again here, this is an insanely tight turn. It's braking nice and early. It is braking pretty hard, I've, I've gotta say. Now you'll also hear that, see here that the hedges has slightly overgrown. Okay, we got cars coming round. Come on car, you've got this, you've got this. Yes, this is so well done. Yes, I cannot believe it. You actually did that corner and didn't terrify me. This, guys, is a huge improvement. Ignore the fact that we're going 30, okay? I know that we're going a little bit too slow for these roads, but this is making a massive difference and I'm not having to disengage from autopilot. So far, I could have closed my eyes and we would still be doing the same journey. So again, it's speeding us up, but it seems a little bit hesitant to get to full speed here which it should be because it, it shouldn't go full speed around these corners. Did that really well. 
and now it's starting to pick up to the 60 miles an hour full speed here. That was good, it even gave the lorry, did you see that? It gave the lorry extra space and moved closer over to the left. So this up ahead is a pretty much blind hump that turns left. You can see that lorry, this is definitely going to freak the car out here. It's not slowing down for it. Okay, now it is. And then it took the corner. Okay, that wasn't the best. That needed to slow down a little bit earlier, I think, there. However, we're still going on autopilot, and this must be the best journey autopilot has done so far. The reason I actually don't autopilot this journey is because of the corners, and that now seems to be pretty much fixed. Let's see if the PSI's gone up. It was 37. Oh, no, it's still 37. This one's gone up because this was 37 as well. So on straights like this, there's no problem at all. Again, so we're coming up to a 50. You can see that the 50 speed sign dead ahead. And I'm just gonna see if it will slow down before the 50 at all. Is it going to, has that been programmed? No, it definitely hasn't. So I'm gonna have to pull it down myself. See, that is a shame. That's something again that they could definitely implement with this new system. Just like the corners, it just needs to slow itself down just before that it exceeds the speed limit. Picking up the cones over there nicely. Again, some really treacherous corners here, which it's pretty confident at, even at 50 miles an hour. Going a little bit sideways, a little bit to the side. You can see there it put some warning up as well. So maybe it needed to slow down to about 45 for those corners. So far though, very, very impressed with how it's dealt with some of the corners. Very nice. Okay, let's see. How quickly does it turn up? No, there we go. There's the 60. So we click the 60. And that brings us up nicely. I'm not actually following the sat nav. I don't know why it's asking me to go left down there. I'm not actually going to go left that way. So we're just going to keep on going straight. affect this lorry because it's come around the corner no it doesn't seem to be again here we've got a pretty horrible hairpin this lorry's just come around you can see how crazy it is hopefully it's breaking okay it's breaking pretty hard now down to 45 that should be slow enough for these corners or oh, down to 40 there you go now it's taking these corners pretty nicely and i want to see how far i can go on this trip without touching anything well at least without taking over control obviously i'm having to touch every now and then okay so again we're going into this is a brand new 50 actually this never used to be a 50 so this will be interesting to see if this changes no as you can see this is definitely not changing so the speed camera oh sorry the, the camera in here is not picking up speed signs actively at all because this is still showing 60 even though this is definitely uh, a 50 now it used to be a 60 but now it is a 50. So again, we've got some pretty horrible corners here. This is actually the Ebola drone just up here where they filmed the Grand Tour, uh, just over there. And here I have aquaplaned with my brother in one of our first cars. We had a Skoda Fabia and we aqu aquaplaned and nearly went off there. But luckily now, our self-driving car is taking us very safely around. So yeah, this here next to the Science Museum is the Ebola drone. I have contacted to try and go on it to autopilot around it, but sadly, I haven't had any luck. <laughs> I haven't heard back from them yet, but that's it over there on the right. And as we come over here, we're going down into Rawton. There's sometimes cars parked on the left here and it does confuse autopilot, but there's no cars parked there now, which is good. And again, you can see we're coming into a 40. So I'd like it to start slowing down about now, to be honest and kind of start bringing us in. Again, this used to be 60 all the way down here. So you can still see, it still says that it's a 60 because this did used to be a 60. This is only very recently it's turned to a, a 40. Is that car gonna cause any questions? Any concerns? No, the car's not bothered by him, which is good. And as we come into Rawton, 
the lines kind of disappear, but the car's sticking to the left-hand side. <coughs> and into a 30 somewhere. There it is. Okay, actually, it picked up the 30 earlier, which was quite good. Okay, so there are cars normally parked on the side of the road here, so I'm intrigued to see how well it does. Big lorry. Big lorry. Is the car going to see it? Well, it sees it, but it, it didn't do anything to react to it, which is nice. And again here, let's see what it does, because you can see that it might try and squeeze past there. There is a cone on the back of that car. Is it going to? No, it's not going to. So I have to take control and go around myself. That's a shame. That's the first thing we've had to stop for this whole drive. And it was just, um, whoa, okay. Not sure why it was slamming on there. Back onto autopilot here. And we come up with some traffic lights with a cone on it. And what's the car gonna do? It just needs to go straight on here. And that's exactly what it did, really well done. And now we're coming up some other cones and some more traffic lights. So let's see if the car will navigate itself around these traffic lights. I'm assuming it's not going to. Interesting enough, it's not picked up the cone on the back of the truck at all. That would have been quite cool actually to have seen it pick up the cone on the back of the truck. No, it's definitely not gonna go around these. So we're gonna have to work it around ourselves. But you can see here, it's picking up the cones nicely. It picked up the light as well really nicely there. And over the roundabout, just put autopilot back on. So still for navigating onto the other side of the road and construction zones, it's still not quite there yet, but they are obviously big, big areas that are gonna need a pretty massive update uh, to get changed. So we're gonna be turning right here and we're gonna be going up to, um, I'm not sure what this place is called up here, Upper Rawton, let's call it Upper Rawton. Chiseldon, of course it is, Chiseldon. Okay, so autopilot back on. We've got a car on our side of the road, so our car is braking for it. Oh, we've got another car coming, which our car's braking for. And now it's starting to accelerate again. So I didn't do anything there. I let the car do all of that itself. I'm going to keep it down to 20, I think, just because I'm not sure if it's going to be able to take this corner. This corner is very, very tight. And you can see that there are little bollards and stuff on the edge. Actually, it did it nicely. I'm going to keep it nice and slow, though. Still doing well around these corners. And we've got a van coming. How's it going to react? No problem at all. That was really nice. Really, really tight here. Is it going to go round? I'm going to have to do it myself just because there was a cyclist there and I was a little bit worried that it was it was going to slam on or, or try and go around him in a weird way. Whoa, okay. So this is a, a little roundabout that it's not going to be able to do. So we'll do it ourselves. And now up here, there are some really, really hard corners again. So we're pretty much doing the hardest corner route uh, that I know around here. And again, I'm putting it up to the speed limit. So we're going to go up to the 50 miles an hour. It actually says it can go 60, but I thought this was a 50 up here. Let's see how it deals with these corners. It's been a hot minute since I've been up here. Oh, way, way too fast. Yeah, definitely people have an autopiloted up here because you can see that that went right over the lines there. It didn't slow itself down like I was expecting to. It's bringing itself all the way up to 50 slowing itself down slightly slightly not loads though okay and what about here there we go that's nice that's breaking really nicely for this for this corner here so it is a really really tight corner it's going down to 25 like 25 again is a little bit overkill i'm not gonna lie but it did the corner and that that's all that really matters at this point it says for us to turn off left here, but we're gonna keep on going. And we're just gonna follow this road for where, wherever it seems to go. We're pretty much driving around the Ebola drone here. Yeah, it definitely is a 50. You can see the 50 sign there. So again, this isn't picking up the correct signs, sadly showing that it's a 60. Oh, this actually goes to a dead end this way. Back onto some more normal roads now with markings on both sides. And hopefully this will be nice and easy for us for the rest of the journey. Again, there are some pretty bad corners down here, and I don't think many cars will have autopiloted it. So I'm intrigued to know if it slows down on its own will or not. It doesn't seem like it is. Whoa. Okay, coming pretty quick around this corner. 
Actually, did it really nicely though. It slowed us down correctly, down to 43, and was able to do that, no problems at all. Is it gonna pick up this cyclist? No, it is slamming, slamming us on though. I think it was maybe because of that guy, the army guy there that got out of his car. If it was because of him, that was very impressive. It broke very, very early on. But I'm not 100% sure. It may also have been because of the car coming around the corner. And I think it just like braked very hard because of that. Either way, it slowed us down and kept us nice and safe. Around these corners at 50 is no problem at all. And now we're going to be coming into Chiseldon, which is a little town. Oh, how's it going to deal with this? Breaking hard, breaking hard down to 42 very very well done car that was very nice even though we went down a hill it was a pretty bad hill as well to go down and we turned at the same time it did it really nicely okay so we're going into a 30 but mainly there's a really really tight corner here let's see how it deals with this it's still going to go at it at 30 apparently slowing itself down now slowing itself down again no problems at all really tight corner correctly done this is the most impressive drive yet i've got to say the only big thing i've noticed so far this drive is slowing itself down for speed signs and actually regulating itself due to speed signs let's see if it picks up these people because they're just close on the roads nope didn't show them um and also of course going around other cars oh actually and going on roads where the line in the middle disappears i want it to stay on the left hand side please tesla <laughs> Okay, so we've got a roundabout here. The car full speed at the roundabout. So it, it's not slowing down for the roundabout. Again, that should be something that maybe it can start doing, which is just slowing down and stopping for a roundabout. Or at least if it just starts slowing it all the way down, that would be good enough. Okay. Back on here, zebra crossings. Anything for zebra crossings yet? No, no zebra crossings being shown just yet. Keeping it to 25 down. Actually, no, let's put it to 30 because, of course, we want it to slow itself down. And it's keeping itself under 30 here. 29 for this corner. Now up to 30. So this is quite interesting. We've got some right of ways coming. And I'm intrigued to see. We should be fine, actually, going through these right of ways with no problems. Is it gonna pick them up? Is it gonna slow down? Is it gonna show anything different? It's showing a rubbish bin. So it, it just showed a rubbish bin on the right hand side there for a split second. And that seemed to be it um, showing that it could see it could see something in the middle of the road. And again, here we're coming to a T-junction and I would like it to start slowing us down as we get to it, but it's obviously not gonna do that. No, definitely not. So we'll have to slow it down ourselves and pick it back up again oh no autopilot just yet and there we go back onto autopilot so there we go guys that is some really really hard cornering some really treacherous areas and oreo has done such a good job the autopilot software has had a huge upgrade recently and the slowing down for corners is the biggest part it really really is and it makes so much of it so much better i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like down below don't forget forget to subscribe and make sure to turn on those notifications so you don't miss an upload i'm thinking about doing this daily like i said so if you want to see daily content let me know in the comment section hit that like button and hopefully whoa breaking very hard there for that corner and i think because other people were on like overtaking it got a little bit scared um yeah let me know what you think down below in the comment section until next time thank you for watching don't forget drive safe